she just looked scared and she just cried. She's just staring at me. We are now hearing from a mother who called 911 after she showed up to pick her child up at daycare okay, okay. and found the doors locked, lights off, and her two-year-old alone inside. Local 10's Roy Ramos is live in Plantation with more details, including how the daycare is responding to this. Roy. Well, the daycare says at the very least this should have never happened and is now under investigation. Meanwhile, this mother describing what she felt as the worst feeling ever. It's right here in this building where her daughter was trapped inside, the doors locked, the lights off, and no staff members around. I'm coming, okay? 911, what is the address of the emergency? You can hear the worry in the voice of Stephanie Martinez while she's on the phone with a 911 operator after finding her two-year-old daughter Anastasia inside the Kinder Care Daycare Center in Plantation. The lights off, no staff members inside, the doors locked, and her daughter looking right at her, waiting for her mother to get her out. She's inside the daycare. She just came up to the door. It's like the worst feeling ever. Like, you can't do anything. Martinez said she arrived to pick up her daughter just after 6 Tuesday. When she realized there was no one there, she called Anastasia's aunt, Samantha Scaramolino, who's picked her daughter up before. And I'm like, well, I don't have her. Like, call the police. Plantation police and fire arriving shortly after and forcing open the doors. To she was just shocked. She, like, came straight to me. Like, <laughs> would not let me go. Fortunately, she was okay, but it's her relatives now wondering how this all happened. While staff members refused to speak with me, Kindercare did release this statement that read in part, while we're thankful the child was quickly found and was safe, this incident should not have happened. We take all concerns about children's safety seriously and follow a specific protocol anytime an issue is raised. Part of that protocol includes notifying our agency partners like state licensing and child protective services, as we did in this case. We also place the staff members involved on administrative leave while we and our agency partners look into the concern further. I just want them to be held accountable. I don't want this to ever happen to anybody else. <laughs>